Next up, we had WrestleMania 4. This was a tournament. This was after Hulk Hogan lost the WWF title to Andre the Giant, and then Andre, Andre gave it away to Ted DiBiase. But Jack Tunney, the president of the WWF, was like, nope. He declared the title vacant. We had a tournament. A lot of old school fans hated this show because it was it was pretty long. You know, you had all these matches, and they were a lot of them were not very good, and they were short matches. And to me, it was it was an entertaining storyline more so than the wrestling. It was the it was the story that carried this show. Seeing Randy Savage have to go through four different matches and overcome the odds against. Ted DiBiase, Andre the Giant was there at ringside, Hulk Hogan came out um, to even the odds, and you had that big feel-good moment, which was the start of the mega powers exploding. To me, that was a really fun storyline. But yeah, the wrestling itself wasn't that great. The Battle Royal was, was not very exciting to watch, although I do like the whole storyline with Bret Hart and Bad News Brown. And that was ultimately what led to Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart turning face. This was the beginning of that. 